Today we are checking out the TC Electronic Plethora X5. Now the Plethora X5 is a multi-effects unit comprising of all the tone print enabled effects from TC Electronic. Now what I played earlier was one of their sample pedal boards from one of their presets so you can easily flick through various pedal boards on the unit and per pedal board you can set up to five different effects and very easily you can edit each and every one of them by going into the edit mode. So now in edit mode, you can see the list of effects right here. So you have a chorus, compressor, delay, the mimic doubler, the vortex flanger, the quintessence harmony, a noise gate, octaver, pitch shifter, reverb, tremolo, vibrato. You can even have it empty, bypass if you don't need a particular effect. You can insert more effects into the effects loop or you can use it to connect via the four cable method, which I'm doing today and you have the settings over here. So you can easily edit each and every one of these effects by just flicking through the different pedal boards or storm boxes here. So first up with the compressor, you can easily check all the settings here. And on the last panel, it has the uh, different tone prints available to be transferred directly as your tone. So first up, before we tweak the effects, let me show you the settings menu over here. So if we go all the way down and go to settings, you can see that it's a global and a board. So with the global settings, you can turn on and off a Bluetooth so you can connect to via the Tone Print app or to your phone to edit certain settings. If you go to product settings, you can adjust the pedal to be in buffered bypass or true bypass. It even has a built-in cap simulation. So just in case if you need to go direct off to front of house, you can turn on the cap simulator over there. Following that, you can have the swap effects on and off. I'll show you what that does in a second. Following that, you can set the foot switch to scroll through different pedal boards by just tapping the foot switch and as well as the tuner, which we'll get into that as well. Let's go back for a moment. You have the display settings to change the different colors and stuff. You can calibrate an expression pedal and you have other things such as resetting to factory settings and stuff like that. Let's go back out and go to board instead. Now at the back, you have stereo ins and outs, you have a MIDI in and out, and you have a send return as well as an input jack to connect an expression pedal. So with the expression pedal, you can assign it to either control the volume or you can use it as a modifier in other terms to affect one of the effects. So certain parameters like such as the amount of repeats in a delay or the level of the delay, you can easily adjust that. Next, there is a second foot switch function. So if I go into here, now it lays out all the five effects that I have over here. So for example, if I go to delay, I can either use the storm button as a mash button or to set the tempo of the effect. So you can easily tweak all of that over here. So I'm just gonna go back. And finally, with the effects loop insert, you can easily set where you want the effects loop to lay. So before the first storm box, in between the first and second, or in between any of the other effects. So now let's go back all the way out into play mode. So over here, I have a pedal board which I put together. And if you can see, there's a couple of jack logos here. It means that I have an effects loop connected. In this case, I have connected this pedal via the four cable method so I can make use of the amps distortion and by placing effects before and after the preamp. So let's take a look at some of the effects that I have dialed in here. First up, I have a compressor and here's my clean tone. Turn on some reverb.
Now very easily I can swap effects around. So for example, if I wanted to put the delay after the reverb, all you can do is press and hold both those foot switches together. And if you notice, the effects have swapped, so you can just easily do it right there. Now let's add on a delay effect to that. Now with the delay on this foot switch, I have it set as a tap tempo switch so you can easily press and hold that and tap the tempo that you want to go to. So now the tempo has changed and again if I want to adjust the amount of repeats, I just go to edit mode, flick to the delay and I can adjust the amount of feedback which is the amount of repeats. Now since I have this connected in four cable method, I'm going to go to the overdrive channel of my amp. Now here's the highest gain channel and I have the compressor, flanger and some reverb turned on. Now I can very easily swap the tone print of the delay by just going to edit mode, going to delay and just choosing a different tone print. So over here I have an Echoplex, so let's try something else, maybe Dark Crystal, so just press that.
finally, one of the most important features here is a tuner. And it's a very cool tuner, very accurate, easy to see. And hey, you're in tune. So there you go, that was the TC Electronic Plethora X5. Leave a comment down below what you think about the tones achieved here today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.